I just want to show you this lovely photo of my beautiful babies. I made all of those. And I just want to say that those mums who never had brothers, you sometimes scratch your head, don't you, going, what the hell? Well, I'm going to decode that for you today. <laughs> Our boys find motor skills aren't good. That's why there's we on the floor, right? They just can't handle little things. <laughs> and um, so they practice it. Early childhood educators know how to help practice with the fine motor. It's a really, really big thing for them. And um, if you go along and they're doing an exercise like that and they're putting legs on the caterpillar, which are all gluing them onto the egg carton. Yeah, and, and your son might put three legs on and then go, whoo-hoo, and race outside. And you'll think, oh. Oh my goodness, because you know, there's two ways he's thinking, is three, he said, I've got three on, why do you have to do the other 31? I nailed it. S smash it out of the ballpark. Yeah, and I want to play, play is more important than this, yeah? Or, it's too hard. So I'm bailing, because also that's going to make me look really dodgy. And the little girl next to him's nailed all 34 legs with glitter and equal dots. And <laughs> The second one is, your little boys are quite often keen to get out of there because it's a war zone. Seriously, there's so many things I have to remember and I'll explain why their memory's a bit lousy. But not only that, they can't always work out who to play with and, they, and, 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 there's, and there's always a poo. Now, you know, they don't poo at school. There is no pooing at school. It's a, you don't poo in a war zone. <laughs> it's too stressful. Can you see? So sometimes if you have stopped to talk to another mummy, uh, your son will start kicking you in the leg viciously kicking and kicking and you're going what are you what is the he cannot say mum I have a poo that is due <laughs> he wants you home because it's coming he does not want to poo himself but he hasn't got the words you know there is this sensitivity in them that we don't notice because the world has said boys and men are tough so this is a really big challenge because why we do this is because there's still this old thing that says they're tough and they certainly are not tough no child is when they're little all of them are the same so this old stuff and all the men in the room will recognize this the number of times they've had to kind of armor up put the mask up be tough be the big wheel we're pulling it down and I know at different times there are dads who come here uh, and come to my seminars because their dad was tough he shamed them he hit them he shouted at them and they don't want to be that dad, but they kind of don't know what the other one could be. So it's a tricky window, but it's actually driven by not only the physical changes. So you need to be informed on this journey. And the reason they make poor choices and why they can die at a higher rate is not enough myelin. The myelin in the brain is growing. It's, it's, it's the ability to reflect and realise, I won't do that because it hurt last time. I'm going to motivate myself. I'm planning for the future. You need myelin. They actually need these adult allies, and I'm going to ask you all to look around it. Is there a teen in your life you could step forward and be an adult ally? Because they push mum and dad out the road a bit. So um, again, what they want is make me feel I matter. So you can see why suicide's such a challenge for them. If they feel they're worthless and useless and got no value, why would I stay? So we've got to make sure they feel they matter. I am going to urge you that they need enormous amounts of guidance to become good men. They need to have those opportunities for us to develop relationships that are absolutely fierce and unconditional. Mm -hmm.